is Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title and the way I'm looking, we are going to be doing a glossy nude look today. I've never done this before. This was my first time and I can honestly say I'm obsessed. It was super easy and I just, I love it. Like I'm obsessed. I think I look bomb. Okay. Bomb AF. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and how I am just glowing and um, glossing everywhere, <laughs> then please keep watching. Oh, I look, look, look. Please keep watching. Wait, I'm so serious. Please. Okay, please keep watching. <laughs> so I am going to be starting off with my face just because it's only right. So I'm going to be taking my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. Taking a little bit and adding that on. If my voice sounds hoarse or different, mind your business. I don't like it. We're not going to discuss it. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm going to take some. I like to take it on my middle finger. I wasn't flicking you off, I promise. And I kind of like to apply it that way. Onto my skin, especially underneath my eyes. Sometimes I feel like I go too ham, but like I be looking flawless, so. Was it really too ham? Yes, my face looks like I have sunscreen on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, <laughs> my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in shade Light Medium 20. I use this to either set under my eyes or my entire face, whichever I like. But I'm going to take it on my beauty sponge and kind of put that into my skin to mattify my skin a bit more because I did just moisturize it but I feel like it also helps me get coverage as well onto the skin so we're doing like a 10 in 1 basically right now for foundation I haven't used her in a while so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use my Oma Beauty Say What foundation I use the shade Honey Honey T2W I really like this foundation it has a nice soft matte finish and I feel like when I use this process as like my base all together with the moisturizer, the primer, and then the powder, it comes out super flawless, more matte, and just really cute looking. Normally, I would cover my lips with foundation because I don't know, but I'm avoiding that today because of what I want to do with the lip and this look so today we are avoiding that step going to the eyes next just to prime I'm gonna take my covergirl true blend undercover concealer in shade buff beige I really like this concealer honestly I might use it today I don't know but I'm gonna just put that on my lid as like my primer for the look that we are doing and I kind of want to use it on the face I want to see how it works with this foundation so which I'm sure I've used them together before but I forgot because I haven't used it in a while so this foundation so I'm using that same concealer to highlight my face and I'm using that same beauty sponge I like to take the excess concealer from under my eye and apply that onto my lid. More coverage, you know? I literally bought lashes like the other week and I cannot find- hold on. Yeah, no, I cannot find them. We love being a- just a messy queen. So we're going to drag that concealer all the way out towards like the temples so that you're kind of getting that lifted look. Okay. I guess we're going to go all out today. So I'm going to cream contour. And to cream contour, I'm taking my usual LA Girl Pro Concealer in shade Chestnut. And we're just going to kind of do like so. 
I love this concealer in general, but especially to like contour with, I think it has a great brush to do so as well. Like you have control over where the product is going, even though my forehead looks a mess, but I promise you I have control over where the product is going. So taking like this really dense tart face brush and I like to use this to blend in my cream contour. It's just a dream. If I do say so myself. And of course, after blending everything out with the brush, I do like to go back in with my beauty blender just to make sure that there are no harsh lines or anything because I don't know, sometimes I found that that happens with a brush for me. Maybe it's just my impatience, but regardless, it's a good process that I do. So whatever excess on the brush, I'm not taking that to contour my nose and make her look snatched like I can't breathe, you know. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Beauty Blender, the same side that does have the foundation and concealer, and blend my entire face out so that nothing is looking too insane, too intense, especially with the contour. I love how my brows like don't look bad and I didn't even touch them yet, but I'm about to. So I'm going to take my LA Colors. I eyebrow pencil and that I have to sharpen. The fact that I just did my face makeup in like seven minutes is so odd to me. I'm like, when did I become this quick? So it's sharpened and I'm gonna use that to fill in my brows. I'm not creating any different lines. I'm just kind of going with the brow hairs because my brows are thick, but I just want them to look a bit more clean. So that's why I like to fill them in and carve them out. So that's what I'm doing. I've not done my eyebrows in months. I did them myself, but I need them plucked. I need them nice and skinty, because that's what I like. I'm gonna take that same concealer, put it on the back of my hand. I'm taking a flat brush, but this one is a wet and wild brush. I'm taking that concealer and I'm going above the brow. Then right under, I gotta take some more. Because these brows, they need some work. And I'm just going, of course, with the shape of my brow. But if I want to fix anything, I'm kind of just using the tip of the brush. Following the same process on the other eye. This also helps if you have hair growing underneath your brows. It helps to cover it a bit more. Now, it's not going to completely disappear. I mean, it's it's hair, but... Anything counts, right? Then I drag it down onto my lid. I take the Beauty Blender with that same side that I use to kind of work with the face. And I blend it out so that we're not looking insane. And then boom! Now we have brows. I kind of want to take some brow gel and set it. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's a tinted brow gel. It's like a brownish color. I like to take that and go over it sometimes. Or the clear one. Today I'm feeling this shade. I'm going to set right underneath my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me. Same shade. Light medium 20. Same beauty blender. <laughs> and I'm just kind of going right underneath because... Um, I, as you guys have probably seen, I do crease under there a bit, and plus, I'm gonna be going into the eyes after this. I'm not gonna be working with too many shadows, but still, I also use it to carve out. I don't know, I really like this powder. It's lightweight, but it does the job as well, and it's affordable, so. Maybelline, I mess with you. I've been messed with you all forever. Forever. So oh, yeah, now we are going to move into the eyes. So for eyes, I kind of want to start off by going in with my bronzer. This is my Kylie bronzer and Tawny Mommy. I'm sure y'all know this by now. I'm going to take this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH20 brush and I'm going to kind of take it lightly and apply that into my crease to 
kind of add some dimension to my eye. So I have my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb and I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. It does have a pink tint to it, but I do wanna see what this does. So I'm going to take my Wet n Wild brush, that same flat brush, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Gloss and I'm gonna apply that onto my lid. This brush probably wasn't the best brush to use because it does have, you know, concealer on it. But we're gonna see. We're we're gonna see what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. I chose this one because it's not too much of a sticky formula, but it gives you a nice glossed finish. And I didn't, the only other glosses I had were lip plumpers and I was gonna risk it, you know, they're clear, they're beautiful, but I was like, girl, I'm good. I'm not risking a damn eye infection or my eye being swollen for a video, miss ma'am. Maybe one day. Let me stop. Okay, so I'm just taking the product on the brush and kind of applying it all over the lid. Ooh! I've never done this, but the lids are glossy now, and boom. So I'm going to go back into the Kylie Cosmetics bronzer that I used earlier, and I'm going to contour my face. I like to do this when powders on my face because, okay, first of all, this hair, like, stay out of my way. But I like to contour on powders on my face because it helps remove the powder, and I feel like it doesn't look as harsh. I'm gonna go into a big fluffy brush and blend everything out to make sure everything's seamless and I'm also wiping away my powder. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my face with my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. I'm gonna throw on some mascara. I'm gonna use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is my favorite right now. No falsies needed! <sighs> Not me getting mascara on my nose. <sighs> I'm gonna wait to fix that a, li a little bit because this is insane. For highlighter, I think I'm going to just go in with my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and Blush in Rose Gold. I really like this one. I use it a lot. So I'm going to take my Jaclyn Helix Morphe brush, the JH09, and apply. Alright, I'm going to apply some of the CoverGirl concealer onto that because I don't have time. I'm gonna let it sit there for a bit and while I'm doing that I'm gonna apply my liquid lighter just onto my beauty marks to emphasize them a bit boom there they go I'm gonna take that Maybelline Fit Me powder on just like this powder brush or highlighter brush from elf but I've been using this for powder highlight everything I'm gonna put that right over where I applied the liquid liner onto my beauty marks because I want it to be, you know, subtle, nothing insane. And I like to use my contour brush to kind of like wipe that away because it sometimes just looks too pale in that area. So I found that using my contour brush kind of helps give it some, you know, time for lips. So we're going on with the gloss. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this e.l.f. Retro Paradise Liner. I believe this is the deepest shade in the collection. And I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to go into my ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss in Princess Cut. Works perfectly because I'm a princess. And I'm going to just add that.
Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm feeling this. Hold on. <gasps> hold on. I'm going to set my face again. I love this look oh my god it like takes like a natural nice nude look to the next level and I love it I love how the gloss isn't too crazy it's very subtle but when I move bitch, you see I'm glowing you see I'm glossy period I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you guys in the next one bye